Hi, this is Noel Manning. Thanks for joining us right here on Meet Me at the Movies Open Dialogue. Uh, Tim Blake Nelson, uh, really glad to have you and uh, uh, Patsy Pancrioli. Thank you guys both uh, for being here to talk about uh, this incredible film, Old Henry. It's our pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having Re us. Really good to see both of you and uh, what uh, an amazing project uh, here. Uh, I was introduced to the Western when I was a kid. My, my grandfather, uh, Pot Roll Reagan, introduced me to the Westerns, uh, you know, old Westerns of, of TV and film. Uh, and so my love for the genre has followed me ever since. And so every time I get an opportunity to engage uh, in one of these films, I chase it. I don't just look for the opportunity, I chase it. So uh, I want to thank you both for giving me a chance to chase this one down. And I'd love to hear both of you share with me your earliest memories of the Western, and if there's a certain Western that, that sparks to memory when you think back. Uh, funnily enough, Westerns introduced me to film as uh, an art form, because the first Westerns I saw were Sergio Leone Westerns, which were on every weekend in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where I grew up on Saturday and Sunday afternoons. And the, the movies weren't just um, stories being told in a neutral way. They were wildly subjective works of art mm -hmm. with um, their use of uh, close-ups juxtaposed with big wide vistas um, uh, with the use of uh, incredibly rich music and editorial strategies. And suddenly I realized that film was an art form yeah. And um, those early Sergio, Le those Sergio Leone westerns were um, were my way into that. Yeah, I think you know, I, I remember I was at a friend's house. I was probably I'd say seven or eight, and his dad was watching a western. And I remember seeing, and I still haven't found this western. I don't know which one it is, but I saw one scene before we ran outside and played, um, and it was these. I think it was like four or five horses, and they just. They leapt and the, the guys really did this scene and they, they jumped over this ridge and rode these hills down the steepest, rode the horses down the steepest hill you've ever seen and they started tumbling and the horses were falling and it was amazing. I was like this, you know, what a, what a just a, you know, it's, it's rugged and it's, it's got that, it's, it's you're either good or you're evil and that's, that's the Western, you know, I, when I was a kid, I had the holster and ran around, you know, it's just, it's something that is in our, as a country, you know, within our heritage and our and our history. So it's, I think it's, you know, I think you can't not like a Western when you're a kid. Well, you were talking about those scenes with, with the horses and, uh, you know, falling down hills. And I, I think about the Western and it so much does rely on uh, stunts, production design, um, landscapes. And, and this film is just phenomenal in, in all of those different levels of cinematography, sound design. I just loved it on so many different levels. But when you're looking at a script, the page, that written page, sometimes there may be challenges bringing that page to life. So for each of you, what do you think was the most challenging scene to bring to life off of the page? I would say when Tim, when Henry, when Ketchum and the guys are in the, uh, the creek bed, um, you know, and Henry has to stalk them. And it wasn't until, you know, got to the location, I was scouting uh, with Matt, John Matashek, the DP, and found this this beautiful field of of this you know that amber colored wheat grass, and uh, it wasn't written that way on on the page. It was written you know that he kind of stalks through the trees and he's behind a bush. Um, when we found that grass, though, there was something about him almost being the shark in this mm -hmm. in this grass field that he could kind of surface up and hide, and and so that you know we roped that field off two months before we shot it and we yeah. told everyone in production, please don't anybody go in this field of grass. We have to keep it pristine. And, uh, and it rained that day and it was, it was a rough day, but it was, uh, that, you know, that from the page when we actually shot, that was one of my favorite to see how that actually turned out. Now you so. see, that's just what, that's great directing. Um, <laughs> and people don't understand how much goes into stuff and just hats off to Potsy, um, and, and his team for understanding that, planning ahead so that that simple scene could be realized. It's fantastic. Yeah. Um, uh, for me, you know, I was probably, 
most worried about Henry's final scene because it's his most emotionally vulnerable. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I knew that I could do the work because I had a lot of prep time for all the physical demands that this part um, brought. And I knew that with enough time and patience on Potsy's part, I was gonna come up with a credible version of this character. And thankfully, you know, we were hopefully able to do that. Um, but you really can't, you know, sometimes you wanna hit emotional reservoirs and it's there and sometimes the, the, the reservoirs are there and sometimes they're not. Uh, and, and so I had a lot of concern about that last scene. Um, and, uh, but then it, it, it came and went and it was fine. It helped that I had my own son on the crew, uh, every day. Uh, and so, uh, as much as I love Wyatt, uh, uh, Gavin Lewis, the actor playing Wyatt, my son, uh, transference was pretty easy with my own boy there. Right off camera. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, so what does this film teach both of you about yourselves? I, I hear that kind of father son thing and being able to, to look over and know your son's there, but what do you think now that you're reflecting on it and, and uh, involved in these uh, interviews and talking more about this film, what do you think the film has taught you about yourself? And this is for both of you as we wrap. Um, I think for me, it's, uh, it's patience in the prep, you know, it's, mm-hmm. Because I mean, we this thing was was tweaked and rewritten up until the day before the last scene was shot um, with the last fight. So it's like just really, really starting off with a strong script, and then before you get into anything, and just make it perfect and, and beat it to death. And you know, I learned a ton, a ton from Tim in that process of like just keep going and keep going and keep going because it, it only makes it better until you make it worse. Then stop. <laughs> so. It's uh, so yeah, I think just preparation and, and, and watching him prep for the character and learning how to you know swing the pickaxe and carve a hog and shoot the guns and load. Uh, so it would feel natural. Um, so that was, I think that was a big piece. From, from a practical point of view, you know, I don't think I've ever had a closer and more productive relationship with a director than I had with Potsy. So it just taught me how wonderful that can be. Um, and then at the risk of being a little gauzy and sentimental, I, I suppose that in playing this role, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I learned about myself that there are aspects of who I am and what I am and what I've done in my life that ultimately I'm not going to escape and they're going to surprise me at the oddest times. Because in giving myself over to the playing of this role, um, with the amount of prep I was able to do, I had that, um, that, that phenomenon, experienced that phenomenon, which has happened so seldom in an actor's life, but it's, it's great when it does, of surprising myself um, and having stuff um, sneak up on me. Uh, and and rehearsing that in the playing of this role and experiencing that in the playing of this role, um, I, I think was a, a, a great boon. Um, and, and it makes me so grateful to have gotten to play this part. Tim Blake right. Nelson, Thank you, so much, Pop- Thank you so much for your time today. I truly appreciate it. Uh, the film is Old Henry and it is one that everyone should see. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Good, good to meet you. You as well. Good to see you, Tim.